TPWS permanent speed restriction sensors. These sensors differ from the OSS sensors, that's the overspeed sensors, in that they will trigger regardless of what the next signal is showing. So OSS sensors will only trigger if the next signal is showing red, whereas permanent speed restriction sensors will trigger if you exceed the permitted speed regardless of what the next signal is showing. So we've got in a, um, a speed limit here of 30 miles an hour. So on the approach to that speed limit, if we're exceeding 40 miles an hour, just after this signal, then we want to trigger the brakes on the train. So let's add in our TPWS PSRs. Again, we've got the large variety or the normal variety and the mini. Again, we require two grids. Place one, place two. In the real world, the further the signals are, uh, the grids are apart, the faster the train can go before it triggers them. So grids that are close together will trigger at a relatively low speed in the real world and far apart at higher speeds. Again, we have an arming loop and a trigger loop. And in the real world, when you go over the arming loop, a timer on the train starts. And if that timer hasn't reached zero before you hit the trigger loop, then the brakes are applied on the train. Double click the second grid and enter the speed you want it to trigger the emergency brakes if exceeded. So we're going to go for 40. So we're approaching a 30 limit. If the train passing over the second grid is exceeding 40, the brakes will be applied regardless of what the next signal is showing. Let's just move this signal off the track there and then let's give the scenario a go and see what happens. So let's enter our train, let's get some speed up and see how we get on. So remember we've got a 30 limit coming up. If we exceed 40 mile an hour the train will be brought to a stand. So we've got our green signal on the left, just hidden behind the green signal, is our warning board for the speed limit. Here's our permanent magnet. So now we should be bringing our speed down, ready for the 30. As you can see, I'm exceeding the 40, I'm doing 42.6. So when I pass over the second grid, here's the first, and on the second look, my brakes have been applied, bringing the train to a stand. Now let's have a go uh, by and go driving at a more normal speed and making sure we're under that 40 speed restriction. So off we go again. This time when we get to that warning, we will apply the brakes to bring our speed down under 40 miles an hour. So there's our warning, so we're shutting off power didn't quite exceed 40 so we'll just maintain the speed this time we zoom ahead a little bit we're doing 38 miles an hour oh there's my 30 so we better get some brakes on you see we've gone over the grids we did exceed the speed limit slightly but not by much okay that is how you apply TPWS permanent speed restriction grids